Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome to the 57th installment of The Bobby Kudo Show. About to check outside the game. And you know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you're gonna go to that whole mile on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, woo! ZZ Top. Rest in peace, Mr. Dusty Hill. Man, this is tough to talk over, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Like, this is classic. If you didn't know, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. ZZ Top, legendary. These guys have been together 51 years. And if you didn't know... But they get along and most of them are married, haven't they? Right? <laughs> this jam, La Grande. Yeah. It's actually... A, it was a, it was, it's a song about a brothel in, uh, in Texas. Legit. <laughs> Mr. Billy Gibbons. Frank Beard. And once again, the legendary Dusty Hill, who passed at the ripe young age of 72. ZZ Top. And there you have it. There you have it. Listen, I can't keep going because then they're going to just kibosh us. But <laughs> I just, that's a tough one. But listen, rest in peace, right? Dusty Hill, unbelievable, everybody. dude. This is over. This is a. This is absolutely. When you think about this, Gary, this is a. It's a, it's an absolute generation that will never be recreated. There will never be another Jimi Hendrix, brother. There will never be the Beatles. Like that is never going to happen again. It's nope. never going to happen again. You almost wonder. Welcome, everybody. Episode 57. Gary Cabral, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you so much me. for being here. I really appreciate it. Everybody in Bobby World. Yeah, listen, <laughs> this is just this is fantastic. It's just wonderful. Uh, Gary, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show. Today mm. we get to hang out. And uh, I just wanted to shout out to uh, two special, wonderful people that are just super fans of the show. Jesse Gomes, Suzette. I just, the, they just, you know, I get choked up when I think about it. You know, these are people that have supported me they've supported the show they've supported everything about the show they live in florida i was telling you the story and they drove up from florida or actually drove down to florida and uh, jesse texted me and said hey bro 15 hours and uh, your show just inspired and uh you are the shotgun rider i mean it's just like <laughs> right dude like i'm saying at least myself, they didn't fall asleep and roll dude. off the road you know it's not boring right? <laughs> right i mean seriously that you know what a humbling uh just That's cool. uh, dude it, 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 i gotta be honest with you I'm 57 episodes in. I've had a couple of, of amazing guests. Not a couple, just every single one of them, including yourself. Amazing guests on the show. Uh, Sam Led, most recently from Santa Barbara, California. Uh, Ryan Oriega from Taiwan. Like I just that's cool, dude. Just some yeah. like when you think about the dynamics of being 57 so 57 episodes in, but nonetheless, there comes a point, bro. It's like I almost question, like, gee, is it? I'm putting a lot into this. Is it? Is it really? What's the, what's the What's the payback? You know what I mean? Like, am I? What's the what's the ROI? You know what I mean? Like, really? And then, when when you think about again, there are many ways to look at this and, and think about you know, the podcast and the direction of the Bobby Kudo show and the brand. But ultimately, when I think about it, I say to myself, well, is it about the money, or is it about the idea of being able to come on here and share some of my ideas? And the funny thing is, is I, I, listen, dude, I'm not rich. I, you know, a lot of people come on podcasts and they say, I'm going to inspire you and I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to be rich. And if you do this and mm. it, you know, every, you know what, when you got a stick, when you're, yeah, it's always got a stick to me, man, I'm, I'm the layman's bro. I'm, we're working, bro. We're in the ditches. Like this is to me, this is reality. This is what it's all about. And you know, the funny, the analogy in all this is actually the point to what I was getting to is, you know, if, if I step in, if I step in shit, right. If I step in shit, like I, I'm trying to tell you, listen, Hey, 
th- th- this shit over there. Don't step in it. Like, right? That's yeah. To me, I mean, if you were going to simplify this and all its fact is, and that's really that's all I'm trying to do here. Trying to teach by experience, yeah, like, bro. You know what I mean? I've been around for a little while. I got a lot of experience. I've had a, the amazing experiences in my life, mm. in with like people like you and just just amazing people that have inspired me and I think have maybe like. Sh- maybe directed me in my train of thought and the way that I look yeah, at maybe things. Maybe changed and, you at some point. Yeah, so right, that's that's yeah, part of yeah, life. It's living. Dude, because you know that's what? Life, it's, it's, it's easy to be black and white and it's easy to be just mono. For me, I think, you know, everything that's alive in Isn't this Isn't that world, giving up though? Being mono and being alive, it's giving up. So, I mean, just like you were just saying a few seconds earlier, like you were thinking, is it all worth it or is it, that's something you, that's a natural thing of human nature saying, do I want to do this all forever? Is it really gaining? But that's the time you keep going and then something should you know, you know, metastasize that. Well, it. isn't that, and exactly, isn't that what this is? Like when I talk about Jesse and I talk about Suzette and I talk about like the inspiring words, yeah. I talk about Darren Francisco, Sergio Francisco's son. Yeah. You know, like here is my close and dear friend Sergio. And his son. And is, his son yeah. is reaching out to me and saying, hey, Bobby, listen, your words, your words inspire me, man. You're, you, you, I, bro, I can't even explain to you. So, you know, I guess to to, to long end of this here, and the point of what I'm trying to make is that, yeah, it's worth it, bro. It's right, it's not about the money. It's worth man. it for you. It, yeah, yeah I mean, money's man. great if you the, can do it. I the mean, idea hell, that why I not? Can come but on here and if if you were completely dependent on the money, um, would it change? Now you got to do uh, something for you know. Sometimes that's a yeah, different dynamic you know what, in though, itself. I, like, all right, I, I was making money. Now you got a sponsor. Now you can't sit certain yeah, things. Yeah, that might yeah, change things in yeah. a way. So well, uh, look, money is a situation where everybody like to have that you know, uh, you know, scratched off and say, hey, look, it's good to go. But I'd just say, do as much you can. It's a balance. Everything's yeah, a balance. And, me, and, like, it, and even in like I could I could advertise on the show right now. Right. I could do that, but I don't want to cut into the show every you know couple of minutes with some ridiculous. You know, well, I don't think people mind that. People are so used to it. I mean, it's uh, not like it, when it's too much. Yeah, I mean, but they, dude, they, I think, the, the I think, audience will let you know here. They'll be like, cutting it off. It takes You'll the flow the out. It takes the yeah. flow out. Like, you're not flowing anymore. If you need a banner to blow, then that's you what I'm saying. I know, right? Seriously. the beginning of the show, at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, well, you know, I started a Patreon. I did yeah. a, the Bobby Kudo Show has a Patreon. Mm-hmm. You can actually access that through Facebook, through, through Instagram, Twitter, uh, all of the fa- the social media, of course, if you want to visit the Bobby Kudo Show Um Dot com. So go check it out. It's all there. The link is there if you want to subscribe to the show. I'd like to do some extra. Look, you know what, dude? Doing this and been doing this for a while, like 57 episodes, mm-hmm. I can only tell you how much how much um, audio that I've collected that mm-hmm. people have never heard. There are shows that I've recorded that I've never. So what I'd like to do is like if you're a your Patreon subscriber. You put sh- that on the archive? Yeah, share like the archives and like oh. some of the stuff. Like to your original point, if you subscribe to it then you can pretty much say anything you want. You know right. what I mean? So there may be things that, you know, like to your point, that I might want to share privately with the subscribers mm. that I could maybe have a, a monologue or a different point of view or something that's like that. That's kind of like what's going on when some of the censored, uh, like YouTube is censoring certain people. Yes, they, like, are. Gonna say they, yes, go they to, are. Yeah. Like either locals.com yeah. or, or Patreon. They you say, know, look, I'm going to bring my points there up There was a way. podcast, Shit Happens When You Party Naked, of my buddy Jason Almy from New Hampshire. And mm. him and I, like just podcast friends, back and yeah. forth, we're like-minded. He has a great podcast. It's a little out there, which is fantastic, but he's all pop culture, dude. Like mm-hmm. the, the guy loves 007, James Bond, like, like having those, That's and not cool. just and not just about James Bond, but like all of the philosophy behind it, yeah. which makes it really cool. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, yeah, it, it really right, outspo- it was a really an outspoken show, really just an out- and they they pulled him off. And what and the re- the way they did it was, uh, and he put it out there was that someone threatened to uh, his employer. They were going to let his employer know that were the things because the show was. The, I hate to use the word raunchy, but it was it was almost like a like a like a, a money python. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, just out there. And, you see, see, but that this was, is that, where things they, go wrong, <laughs> right? This so is where, really where segueing. Go ahead, go ahead. This yes. is where things yes. are getting yes. really yes. out of hand, and you can yes. see it throughout things. It's like someone's calling your employer. Your employer should have no. Depending on if you're a face of the company, if you project yourself, but th- back in the time, I mean, this 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 is getting far out of hand. What's like yeah, the employer you know, controls you know. your out- outlet outside of your Dude, home if you when they're know, asking you, you for your, for your social media account and all that. And unless you're a position of like, uh, you know, your face is you're, you're the face of the company. You know, in essence, where. Um, you know, you advertise. You, you, they advertise through your face, or uh, let's say, um, you know, you're representative of them. Where you know, the company relies on on your your persona. But if you're just an employee there, yeah, you should leave it alone. So come and say, hey, look, he has, he has no, everybody thinks it has no bearing on, on his work hours here. You know, if you like the show, if you don't, change change the channel. But he's a great employee here, regardless of what, what he thinks. He still conducts himself well in this in this place. And that's what we expect from all our employees. Yes. Done. But, yeah, but you yeah, know but what? this is the problem. Yes, they get so yes, bombarded. Yes, like, yes, hey, the lawyers yes, say, yes. just forget it. Yes. It's the, just sad. The, the, the it's problem, sad. Everybody should worry about this. The problem is, is one oh shit ruins 10 out of boys. 
You can have, you can have, you can, you, you can, can beg. make ten pounds of people, <laughs> right? Ten right. right. You, you, you remember the one it, wrong? The, the, I'm telling you, bro. If you live the life of a hero long enough, you die a villain. It's it's it's, yeah. it's inevitable. I will I will tell you this. I know, and I and I'll speak out there. And I, I I'm, listen. I'm if I wasn't truthful and honest with the audience, and I wasn't truthful and honest when I come on here, then what the hell am I doing here? My previous employer. Like that's what happened. Like it wasn't that I wanted. I didn't want to leave. I didn't mm. want to go. I built relationships with people. I, 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 I really enjoyed the work that I was doing. I was impactful. Like, in, right. in literal, in, dude, in the literal form, in the literal word, I was saving lives. I was assisting people save lives. I, I was supporting an oncology center. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm legit. Like I wasn't, and I really enjoyed doing that. But it got to a point where you. Can, you have to stop. Like I have no more to give. Like there's just at some point, where is that line? You 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 you're asking. You burn out. You burn out. You burn out. Yeah, you're asking too much of me. You know what right. I mean? It gets to a point where I become resentful because I don't think you appreciate the hard work and effort that I'm putting in to what I'm doing. And so, like living under that philosophy, where you say to yourself, "Man, I'm all in. Like I want to. I want to win. I want to support the company. I want to mm. support the idea." And you give all that, and all of a sudden, you find yourself like looking around, going, "Where, where where's my family? Like, who, where did everybody go? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm working, you know, sixty, seventy, eighty hours a week, and that's fine, the money. But then you realize, wait a minute, I'm salary, so." You know what I mean? And I actually, I made a commitment to myself that I was never going to go back to a salary position. Of course, I'm back in a salary position. <laughs> but because of that reason, because it, listen, pay the bills. I know what, and in this, no offense to anyone who is in a salaried position, but listen, if you're in a salary position, it's be, they're taking advantage of you. Like, in other words, they're making money. Like a 401k, mm. like a 401k, mm. they're making money. Like, guys, don't think your company, when they match you 6%, they made fucking 22% on that money. Like, don't think they're doing any favors. Well, they, the brokerage does. They, they make they, money on the tax, oh, the yeah, tax but, advantage, course, but, but the matches with the tax. But, I mean, that being said... Uh, but well, so I mean, it's the privacy of the, of the issue. It's like, well, what are, when does my line of work end? Where I, my you know my, my eight hours a day, my forty hours is in debt to you, yep. and now I'm done. I can do what I want, say what I want, and I have to be, feel pressure from my employer, you know, outside of work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm, I'm degrading the employee, so that's a fine line where the, the employee say, "Hey, look, you know, we're, we're not responsible for what he does outside of work." Yeah, but Gary, there's no employee that has the, the ball you, to say that. But you know what, though, and it's no secret, I have the Disgruntled American podcast with mm. Steve and Joe. I yeah. mean, it's fanta- absolutely fantastic. Does your employer say, "Bobby, we can't have you"? Well, on. you know what? And if they did, I have to go. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I love my job. I love yeah. what I do. But then, then but, what, what, what is it coming to, to? You know, that, what it comes to your rights and, and your rights of privacy? Exactly. Saying, hey, look, exactly. My, where's exactly. freedom of speech? Exactly. What happened? It got taken over by corporations. That's what I'm saying. People saying, "Oh." Oh, you yes. can't say that. Can't say that. Well, where, yeah, where's I know the freedom, line? Yeah, freedom where, of speech protects us from the government from from, from uh, uh, you know any uh, uh, infractions from the government. We can say, say what we, we say. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't sell, you can't yell a uh, uh, fire in, in a theater. That yes. being said, yes. so now what? It, now wh- what gives the corporations or, or your employer that entitlement? Right, they're the ones drawing the line in the sand. Yeah. they're the ones that yeah, are but, telling but who, you. Who gives them the right to draw the line? I, I I don't know. That's the problem. Because you know what? In all fairness. We, we, my sense of humor is not your sense of humor. Like what I think is funny, you might not find funny. I mean, we're friends, Gary, so yeah. obviously we're like minded. But in general, in general terms, in a public forum, we might not laugh at the same things. No. So, but but it doesn't mean I'm going to criticize you because you laugh at the old lady tripping and falling. Where I I may look at it as, oh my god, the old lady tripped and fell. Where you might be like, <laughs> did you see the old lady trip and fall? Right. So again, two dynamics. But is one right and one wrong? No. I mean, I mean, as long as you go well, over and more, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's okay if you it, laugh yeah. as long as you help. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can, <laughs> you're gonna go over and help you her. You know what I mean? and I, but, but I'm saying, but th- I mean, this is the radio. It's like if they, I don't. There's certain things. It's like we're we're not watching ourselves. We're 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 not we're not sitting together as society saying, hey, look, um, no, that's wrong. And nobody's sticking up for nobody. No, no, and things no. are getting things are getting no. bad. I mean, no. just like no, no. I mean. You know, I don't, know, I don't should get started on it. We'll be here. Well, I'll get on a tangent. Well, you know what? Look, I, I, I didn't want. I don't want the show to be like a political tangent, show. Yeah. But, but, but in all fairness, but it's not even politics. It's corporations yes, that are controlled because they're you fear. Their fear of the PR. You can't monster. be. Yeah, you can't be in this environment right now without like living in politics. It's, mm-hmm. it, we, it, it, it is clear that the government is making a move for total control. Like that's that's inevitable. You know what? If we had, we were playing chess, mm-hmm. right? We're at that point where where somebody's going for checkmate. You know what I mean? Like we're yeah, the knights. The knights. We're right around. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you surrounding you, you know, n- not only with the situation in in California where they're gonna now with the Gavin Newsom recall, recall election, yeah, yeah. they're actually saying mail in voting. 
Like they, they said that. Like now they. So is that what COVID is <laughs> to me? Right away, man. Like I, I've been, I've been towing the rope, and sometimes it's tough because I have, I have friends that mm-hmm. we, I podcast with, and they have ideas uh, and they have ideals. thoughts. Right, That's a beautiful thing. Though. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but, but the thing is, like, you tow that rope and that line, and you say to yourself, okay, like I believe in what you're saying, and I believe in, all, and then all of a sudden you see something like that, and you'd be like, you know what? This is all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Like, I call bullshit. Like, I'm done. I, I am so done, bro. I call, I call bullshit. bullshit like, that's it. I like, yell the same thing. Absolutely. I, I call bullshit. Like, the, 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 the time has come where we no longer can just, you know what? I'm going to share a clip with you. And you, the reason I'm going to share this is because there's a lot of things going on here. And uh, one of them is is the fact that, you know what? I'm, I'm a fan of Dan Bongino. You like Dan Bongino? I, I've, I've seen him. All right. Yeah. So, so, if you haven't heard... Um, what what is her name? She's a congressman, uh, a congresswoman from California. No, I had it here. Um, anyway, uh, uh, Cory Bush. Her name is Cory uh-huh. Bush. So she's a, like a huge like defund the police. Mm-hmm. You know, we're all, yeah. But but oh, I uh, heard about have that. you seen this? But just real quick, just give this give this a quick. I mean, this is just. I mean, it's just, it, it, you can't make this shit up. Just give this a quick listen. Here is just. I, I mean, a joke of a public official, Cory Bush, an embarrassment to the office. She's a congresswoman. The Congresswoman Cori Bush wants to make sure that crime rates in your neighborhood explode, that your home is invaded, you're robbed, your car is broken into, um, your kids are harassed. She doesn't care at all, Cori Bush. Why? Because Cori Bush has private security. <laughs> Rather than running from this embarrassment. Wait, wait, Miss Bush, uh, Congresswoman, just to be clear. You want to defund the police in high crime areas, ensuring that the citizens are preyed on by the wolves of society. Potentially murdered, assaulted, burglarized, raped. All of that stuff can happen. You want to take their police away, but you're okay because you claim there's death threats on your life and you have private security. She, not only does she run from it, she goes on a rant attacking the people, <laughs> calling her out for this hypocrisy. Here it is. Top five out of touch Polit- loser politician videos I've ever seen. Check this out. I'm going to make sure I have security because I know I have had attempts on my life and I have too much work to do. There are too many people that need help right now for me to, to allow that. So if I end up spending 200000 if I spend 10, 10, 10 more dollars on it, you know what? I get to be here to do the work. So suck it up and defunding the police has to happen. We need to defund the police and put that money into social safety nets you know what? It's her money. <laughs> Spend it. And you want to defund the police? Let it happen. You know what? Let it happen. Dude. You know what? Dude. It has to happen. Dude. Yeah, I'll be honest Dude. with you. It has to happen. Dude. You know why it has to happen, right? Why? Because it'll never happen again. That's that's what I'm saying. That's And that's where we're at. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like I call Watch bullshit. The world burn. I call mm-hmm. bullshit. Let it happen. Dude. And it'll never happen again. Is that not? Again. Do you hear her? Like, yeah. suck, suck it. She said, yeah. suck it up. Yeah. Suck, suck it, it up. It's fine. It's your money. Yeah. Go ahead. Get all the so, you want. So, 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 what's good for me? It's not good for thee, right? Right. The right? Rule the, like I mean, the rule is not for me. The rule is for thee. It's, yeah. it's, it's it's unbelievable, and that's mm-hmm. the hypocrisy that we live in. And the worst part is, is they're saying the quiet parts out loud now. Where before they would yes. never say that mm-hmm. shit, bro. Well, like I mean, right? Like oh yeah. my god! Like don't you can't talk like that now. It's just it's out there. Like that's it's there's no how do you how do you rebuttal to that? Like what's how do you what, what do you say to that? Like honestly, what what do you, what do you say to that? That's like you know what. You just waited in line at the airport for two hours to get to the checkout window, and this woman steps right in front of you and looks, turns back to you and says, shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm cutting you in line. And you say nothing. That's what that is. Yeah. That's what that is. So so, you, so, so so when you say you don't want to be political, I think people should be in politics more than, I mean. Absolutely. Than and because I'm so back glad in you the said day, that, bro. I when, am. When yep. you, at school, when, you know, even from, you know, uh, Thomas Jefferson and stated, you know, uh, education free for everybody. Uh Politics were a big part of politics were a big part of uh, uh, school, and then they changed it slowly to mathematics and science. And they removed politics and how the constitution was written. They give you a vague summary now, but in the past, when you got when you graduated, well, school, the, whatever grades they had, you knew politics, you knew the Dude, rules and how amazing. things were conducted. How much is that? Yeah, well, even even knowing the branches of government, yeah, like these kids don't know, like oh, they yeah. just they don't and know. In college, they don't know. They don't know the branches of government. They don't even know anything about it. So that's how you slowly rule rule the masses. You just yes. take your time and go. Yes. And so, yes. So I mean, because I, you know what it is? It's ratings. They don't. Everything about politics to them is TV ratings. Well, well, well yes, because it's a way to see see which way the wind blows. I mean, it's right. it's an easier way to, to. I mean, it's technology is going to involve itself in everybody. Yes. That being said, these guys are just like thinking that it's I'm, I'm bad. I'm I'm way. Up. It's, it's, it's you now. It also has to do with I think um the wealth gap. I think a lot of do, do 
to do with that too is, is if you're in politics, yep. everything comes easy, yep. so forth. Not all of them, but most yep. of them, it comes easy. Yep. I mean, come on, you see what happens. It's the richest city in, in the country that it's yeah. the wealth is yeah. going to yeah. immense, yeah. immense yeah. power. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so absolutely. they feel their, their entitlement. It's all a clubhouse there. Yep. So, like I said, if, let it happen. Where does the wind blow? Again. Where does the wind blow? Right? And I say that, Gary. Change, wind's going to blow. It's going to change. Because right, change right, is change right. inevitable. The only yes. thing consistent is change. Yes. So yes. things might change. You know we funny? might like it or not. But have you noticed, they, is they use it to, to their advantage regardless you of everything. Have you more and more conversation like about Egypt and the Egyptians? And you no. think, well, I, I do, I do, and, and it no. really, for some reason, it, it keeps coming up, and it, and yeah. the, the the conversation around it is always the same, and it's all about that we underestimate how technologically advanced they were. Oh yes, all right. Now you're talking. About, uh, you see the, what I'm saying? Romans. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Like, yes. So, so when you, but, but, the, but the problem is, is we're so far removed from them. Like, we there's such a huge gap between the Egyptians and common day mm-hmm. man that I don't know that we realize that they so, were very yes. I, so, so I know what you're getting at is yeah. somehow society gets to a point where it's so great. And then it just teeters back the other way because we think we're better right? than we're on the planet. They, yeah, it's so, we think we're better than we are. That we're in touch with all of a sudden somehow. Right, the we, Mayans, we, we, dude. The we, Mayans, they, right they disappeared. They the disappeared. Mayan, dude. They were a brilliant civilization. They created the the you know, Mayan, yeah, the right? The Mayan calendar, mm-hmm. and they were all about astrology. Yep. And all, so, but somehow just this, went away. They just they're gone. Yeah, just dis- just disappeared. Is that what we're? Is that what Could it be. is today, bro? Could very well be. Is that what it is? Is that just like you, rulers and like the Romans? They fell. They had the aqueduct, such a great technology, and then yeah, 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 yeah. I think that yep, yep. would help lead to, yep. to their demise. Yeah, it, it is in man's nature to destroy to, itself. To destroy yeah, himself, it is. Isn't that? Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I hate to be doom and gloom, and I don't want to be doom and gloom on the show. But well, it's not really, it's education. But really. but when you think about like the you know, I think about these things, and I look at these patterns, and I mm-hmm. say to myself, "Gee, is that is that where we're at right yeah, now? Are we are we peeking out?" Because a very scary a very scary thought for me, and I don't know if anybody else thinks this way. And please, you know, chime in if you do. Um, is AI artificial intelligence? Yes. And I don't think people understand the implications of what AI is. And how that's literally going to change mm-hmm. the way we exist. Right. People, you know what? People say right now, oh, wow, look at the, look at the Tesla, right? Or autopilot, right? People are like, mm-hmm. wow, that's really cool. Guys, listen, that is a computer doing the task of a human being. It is processing information. Not not only is it processing information, it's processing information better than you can. It's making calculations while it while it travels that you can't even make. So it is actually, in essence, it's smarter than you. And that, Skynet, dude, <laughs> just kidding, dude, no yeah, joke, I mean, dude. Really it happen. really is. And I hate to I hate to hit, quote like Elon Musk because like he needs me like helping him out. But the guy, he's like, listen, guys, it's take it be very dangerous. Like yeah. take it easy because laundry, it's very dangerous. And I think it's one of those things, Gary, that once you release it, it's like Pandora's box. Like once you open it, right. you you can't contain it. You know what I mean? Like if you look at like what is it, Boston Scientifica, like the way that they're building those robots, man, and the, the robots are doing like the muckarana right. and the dancing around. I, I mean, I, I don't have to fear that. Not in my lifetime. By the time it becomes that way, even though technology is getting, growing faster and quicker than we can even fathom. That being said, I think we're going to destroy ourselves before AI even completes this. AI may be, might be the tool, but that we use to kill each other. You know? Answer your question. Yeah. So we both invest. You invest. I invest. We just have different ways of investing. I'm still in. Not, I'm, see, AI, AI is up on that too. I'm, I'm st- I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. like I'm like the virgin in, in, in investing, right? Mm-hmm. So, but I'm using Robinhood, right? But just just for you, just for conversation, mm-hmm. if I could write code, and if I could write AI, would it be possible for me to write AI code? That would literally, in, like, in the world of, of Robinhood now, the fact that you can buy fractional shares. Yeah. Couldn't I just write code that auto- automatically monitors the market and just creates money for me? Like they, that's, that's what they do. No. Right? Well, n- no. Uh, I mean, you think could, about it. No. Like, dude, because, no. uh, dude, if There's you too know, many variables, even, even like the yeah, biggest, but, the biggest, dude, but odds, broker just can't do it. But uh, odds. Odds are off, no. Because nobody, nobody's going to tell you how the market's going to do. Uh, none of them. They're yeah. all smart. And they've yes. all they have the but what about have I'm saying AI bro dude I'm saying AI 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 can't judge a storm down the road that's gonna hit and knock down some powers like Watson it's all it's like Watson all it is is like, the, like Look, Watson there is no IBM certainties. Watson there's no certainties it's only probabilities in but, life that you'll always yes, know it's probabilities but Gary you'll never get the certainties what if AI this, won't work buddy what if you can make AI to make you money in yeah, a way you if, might get caught and go to jail what if the source what if the source is ever knowing 
What? What if it's Watson? Like IBM Watson. It's you. Know, Watson is in the cloud, right? What if Watson? Yeah. But yeah, but listen, that's Watson, the guy that you're talking about. Yeah, Watson knows everything though because it has access to all. It has access to the internet. So Watson has. What, what does Watson do all day and all night? It learns. It just it learns. It it knows patterns. It knows weather patterns. It knows like what are the probabilities of an earthquake in in California? I mean, all right, you see I, what I, I'm saying, I, I know dude? What you're saying, but you're going back to investing and in, talking about look. Yes, you but still can't. There's can also you, there's there's I, I different. Guess, as, yes, investing guess, also has to deal with a lot of people that people forget is called animal spirits, which yes. is how people feel and the psychology of, of of investing. Or people get scared of a market, they pull out. There's there's no major rhyme and reason. Look, the market will always be uh, more erratic than you can stay solvent uh it's it'll stay erratic longer than you could ever stay solvent buddy i mean look you could try to do it yes. it'll help you yes. but don't yes. but don't try it it sounds like you're trying to get rich rich quick scheme and then if you can make that ai that's what that's watching you don't yes. even need the stock market because you'll be automatically ready. all right you'll so here's my idea you ready i'm gonna look at, i'm gonna share something with the audience all right I'm, i shouldn't do this because i'm giving up my ideas you ready i'm gonna go to a bank i'm gonna convince the bank to give me a million dollar loan you right? can probably get it right now and i'm gonna take <laughs> and i'm gonna take that million dollars and i'm gonna hire people to write me the code to to do that. Okay. And then I'll, I'll make enough money. They're already there. They're to, working at Fidelity, the, <laughs> uh, 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 the Prudential. There you go. They're, they're Dude, already working there. I'll offer them like $300,000 salary. Like, hey, why? I'm making a million right now. Do you think, think they are? I, yes. There's a lot of guys Shut making- Shut up. No, no way. Kidding. No way. For real? This guy's this hedge fund company is going right now, twenty four hours a day around the world. At the, no, but I'm yeah. saying like single man, like work, like me, like Bobby Kudo working at a hedge fund by myself. Millions? For real? Some can, you sure? Some, some, some are worth a million. Dude, how good do you like? What are we talking? Like wolves of Wall Street? Like are you? Are we, Pretty much. How good do you have to be? Because, because, dude, you know, the last Look, time I checked, funds, the hedge funds took a beat. Yeah, it's only one. And guess what? They ain't gonna take that beat anymore. <laughs> dude, people, I don't know. People, no, I mean, look, that's 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 the market. So you got a hedge fund guys, all these millionaires, been in, you know, been taught by guys ahead of them. Yeah. And they still, yeah, they still lose it because it's all it's, dude, it's AI. all risk. AI. It's all speculation. No, it's not, dude. AI. I, I, I I've seen enough where I, I don't believe it. I don't believe the AI. So we'll you do don't think, do you think my, you don't think my million dollar no, idea will work? Uh, 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 uh. No, it won't cost. It'll cost you a whole lot more than a million dollars. You think so, mm-hmm. dude? But I'm telling you, I'm gonna have. How, that guy how from, do you even start? What do you even start? How do you even start doing that? I gotta, think find, about somebody that. Write, I gotta find somebody who writes code. Huh? Okay, the code, <laughs> code's the easy part. How do you start to get it, get the information and and put it together? It's out there. It's all out there. You could just trends. Walk, yeah. Trend it. Trend everything. Trends are trends. Trends are trend great. It. But like I said, it doesn't remove uh, the psychology of certain investments. Anybody, political risk, uh, yeah. uh, 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 counter party risk. Yes. There's so many risks that AI was. What worth, if what AI if, can crash? Just right, like just all right, like. All right. But so what okay, if, I just, right, I just I'm not going along with it. What if I'm 75 percent right? Then you're 75 percent right. There's a lot of people that are 75 percent. Yeah, but I'm winning. Okay, so, then I'm winning. So, so you're right. So, so I'm so getting seventy five percent of my investment. Okay, so so how do you do that? You, you're gonna pick a one stock, or not one me. company, one, not one me. sector. Not me. Not me. Oh, why not you? Because you made Watson. the AI. Watson. What's Watson gonna say? Oh, well, do this. Actually, what would we name it? What would we name it? Well, let's, let's get Watson. Let's go for Watson. All right. Let's go. It's already, like um, copyrighted though. Like mm. IBM's gonna sue me. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Bobby. Just say it's Bob. You know, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm just saying. Okay, so so I want to call it. I want to call it. I want to call my AI Manny. All right, so Manny knows many things. <laughs> Manny knows many things, and Manny so, has so access to everything. Yeah. So then what? So no, all right. So somebody knows that Manny knows everything. You think everything. somebody's gonna say, "I'm gonna just like the, just like the hedge funds company said, you know what? We're gonna short this guy, and then they got screwed. So they think Manny knows everything. Going to put out fake information so Manny sees Let it, and then they something. come around, turn around. Let me ask you something. You're just how not, does just, how does the cartel? determine how much oil and what the price of crude oil is going to be how do they do that demand um what yeah, but they how supply. do you but how do you determine that oh there's many factors they just they just go by a, by a risk evaluation all right. so what if i took those factors yeah you do it all and the time I put it, and i put it in an ai yeah and it let the ai do the math it, it, it'll do the math it'll give you the same thing that they have Bro, the ai doing rich. already we're gonna be rich you're not gonna be rich we're gonna be rich we're gonna be on a like dude we're gonna be, on you're gonna the be rich and then then and, and, and then one dictator goes saying takes over the country and they're like all right this whole this oil is mine yeah, but we know that though. and things won't happen no know, manny, manny knows manny knows all right one ship crashes manny knows weather storm manny's like hey listen they're coming. Get well, out. If Manny knows, if Manny knows, <laughs> then, then you don't even have to worry about the stock market or anything. Any investor, you just know what to do and say, look, Manny knows that. I'm going to go put uh, 100 bucks on, on the lottery and I'm going to make $100 million. And, and so, it, I, I look, right now, my mindset, I don't believe it. Do, right. Elon Musk might convince you something, but I t- still think mad. that the world is so has so many variables that change that makes it so that All right. that's what's going to happen. But here's a, here's, a, here's a no-brainer. Pfizer. 
Yeah. Why didn't we buy Pfizer? Did you? Some people did. I didn't. I didn't think about it, but I, I bought other things. Well, but that's a no-brainer, though. I but see, that's market. an easy one. Because well, you know the pandemic, and they're building, they're the ones creating right. yeah, it. Yeah, but see, but now, now here's the thing. There's, there, how many guys were, 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 how many reporting. guys were in the poll? Pfizer, uh, it was uh, Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, they're uh, reporting. So they all went on it. So you're going to put in all the stocks? You, you ain't going to make a million dollars on that. Let's have a million dollars to spread on that. Pfizer reports, if I'm not mistaken, they're reporting $32 billion uh, second quarter earnings. Okay. Because of the... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And they're requesting, and they're going to be doing the booster shot. So, yeah, they're making a lot of money. So why didn't we invest in that? See what I'm saying? All right, so, like, so now I'm not, don't ask I'm just, yourself now. Ask yourself what's coming up next. Yes. So that's what you always keep doing. You always Th- keep thinking, yes. what's coming down I the want line? Manny to do that. Well, why don't you do that? But you what? are Manny. No, 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 no. You are Manny. I'm you taking, can also figure oh out the yeah, but, I, but I'm Manny. A, yeah, but I'm a podcaster, so I it can't. It doesn't matter. You're did, a podcaster. You have the same information that Manny gets. It's right there in front of it. It's, it's not Manny's cousin. It's yeah. called Google. You know, I, I know we're having a little fun with this. Yeah, I am having fun with it. In all fairness, we, you again, we, you and I were talking before the show. We were talking about my own personal investments mm. and some of the equity that I have in my in my in my life. And I think it would be really nice to share that with the audience. And really, just talking about real quick. And I think it was cool because we were talking. And to me, what I got out of that conversation, Gary, is really about allocating your funds. I think people yeah. lose sight of allocation. Like it's a very simple thing to do, uh, but it's also a very difficult thing to maintain. You know what I mean? I yes, think I think the idea, the initial idea, like for example, we were talking, and I and not to, to put my personal information yeah, out there, but we were <laughs> but, but what we were saying is if I were to invest my salary for the next three years into my mortgage, I could pay off my house in three years. Like that was that was kind of the the conversation. And I think using that concept, we all we kind of broke it down and said, okay, well, really, honestly, investing your whole salary into paying your mortgage doesn't really make like kind of sense because you got life, life happens, so you right. kind of yeah, you, you, you need you need funds. But then we came down to the whole point of, hey, why don't you just take five hundred dollars a pay cycle, right? So a thousand, let's just say like a five a thousand dollars a month, mm. right? Let's just say if you took a thousand dollars every single month and you just and you put that towards paying your mortgage on top of already like your mortgage like, your you principal, yeah yeah it, like that could change everything like they literally well but the, the thing right? is the allocation you said it's difficult people don't want to do that a lot of times like oh yeah. i still like the comfort of having this thing it's it's all is it all now and nothing you later might second, oh, all you, now nothing later well you could you know yeah I mean? yeah you, it, right? it actually is all now you get nothing later or, yes. or you do you do, yeah. do it now yeah and you get a lot later and it's always like you talk about people that are educated and like people it's that still and, and they still yeah. it's still broke yeah because yeah. you live with the right. joneses right. and but people that have gone to like continued education right later in their life they always say oh gee like four years like i don't want to go through that but you know what Four years, dude. You blink, and it like four right. years comes and goes real and quick. We gotta get a gold mindset. Yeah, uh, exactly. Change your mindset. Exactly. The whole thing is a lot of it. A lot of f- finances, and and I'm no guru either, but a lot of it is psychological. You say yeah. like, I'm gonna stick it out. I mean, look at look how how did our parents or grandparents do it? Right. You know, right. it's people that own right. a lot of things. They have a lot of wealth, and you didn't yeah. see it. You didn't yeah. show it because it's like yeah. I don't need that. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. Well, yeah. today's society, what we yeah. have is it's always distracting us. Is you want that new thing? Yeah, that thing's better for you. Right. And so there's a lot of things. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We don't really need a lot of things that we have, but we like it because everybody else got one, and so and we like it. So we need to just gauge ourselves. Say, do I really need that? Yeah. There's a lot of things right. that involve like allocating allocating certain things. Do I need to you know buy certain things? Or all like you know what. I'll skip on that for a while because I have another goal set and want to knock this thing out. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's definitely doable on this. So many people doing now. You did so many podcasts. It's a, like I, I think really it's about picking and choosing. Like, what do you want in your life? So mm. if I decide that I want jet skis and pontoon boats and all and all these, you tour, you, you, you right? can pay for it later. You, you can buy it now. Right? You, you can borrow it now. And you pay borrow for it later. and pay for it later. So does it make more? You know, and I always hear this all the time. And I always hear about people using their money rather than just letting their money sit. Oh, save your money. Put it in the bank. Well, no, I see saving your money. Is, Right now, it's not really the ideal thing. Save some for emergencies of cash. I would put it away and save it. Yeah. But people would buy you, jet yeah, skis. You, people, you, you're buying crap that doesn't make money for you. Some people use debt. They use debt to, to, to incur more uh, income mm. later on. Mm. I'll use my debt to buy something that's going to make money for me. Not to buy a jet ski. Not to buy, you know what I mean? That's that's just buying it. Now you have it. You okay. found okay. Now it's devalued, and right. you still owe the bank. Right, right. But, that's, what I'm, that's what people think about. But, the, the, but my point is, that are you really looking at I'm going to enjoy my life now while I can. You can do a little bit of both. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so what's the balance? And I say to you, well, the, you're not you, rich. That's the problem. Right. So you're going to use what you have. Right. So if you were to invest, like we said, like if you would invest a portion of your salary weekly mm. to say, hey, you know what? I want to just get rid of this debt, whatever that may be. Right. Whether it do be, that. That's a what, goal. Like do that. Get rid of that. And now you're building equity towards maybe something you want in the future. Yeah. Like if you do want to buy that jet ski, you can buy it and not be like, hey, I can't afford to have this thing. Right. Like somebody's right. going to repo man's going to come get my 
jet ski in the well, middle of the night. You know People what I mean? People, and like when things are coming, uh, things that I foresee in the next coming year, the Rupert Man's going to be really busy. So, you know what, Gary? I'm, and I'm glad you brought that up. So really just recently, if you haven't heard, uh, and this is really just, I think you're really, this is a, a very uh, scary and I think undermining situation where the the president, I mean, this, this whole, the, when you talk about um, the eviction uh, moratorium, mm. like that was in place. So the, the the Supreme Court, if you don't know, the Supreme Court said, "Hey, listen, en- enough is enough." Like people that own property have the right; they literally have the right to to pay their mortgage. You know, if I if, perfect example, my mom owns a three family house. If those tenants weren't paying, you know, their rent, then my mom can't pay the mortgage. And next thing you know, like how, wh- wh- how does that work? So you know, there's so many things that happen when you think about this. I have a really cool clip from you. you know, no, before you go on the clip, yeah. here's an example. Yep. Like your mom, she had that home. She could have had the three rents, pay for her house, and she says, I'm spending, I'm buying jet skis, I'm having all yes. sorts of fun. Yes. But now I know your mom, she's she's pretty responsible. Yes. So now yes. she could probably write out there because she had money saved. She says, you know, I'm saving for that rainy day. Those mm-hmm. are rainy days. People don't do that. Right. They live way out to the beyond them. Right. People live beyond their right. means. Right. 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 I mean, you can still bounce. But, and now, yeah. now she can still do that. And now she yes. can do, she could buy tons of jet That's skis. That's a whole other she generation, bro. I know, I know. But yeah. I'm saying it is, yeah. is, we should learn from our elders, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Right? Like, Why have we been removed from is that? It, is it a matter of self-control? Like, you need to have self-control. You have, to have self-control. Keeping up with the Joneses, buying houses outside of your your your, uh, your salary range, you're going to yeah. be fucking miserable. Like, I, your people are miserable, that, yeah. That's just it. Like, you, you're, in, you're, 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 you're a slave to the yes, debt. Yes, absolutely. Slave to the debt, yeah. Dude, I'd rather be a vagabond driving around in a fucking van and, tr- and seeing the world and you seeing the country, you know what I mean? As opposed to being, like, just locked up by these imaginary walls. And it was funny. I was watching, um, you know, I wish I knew the the uh, the author. Um, I was actually watching a video and he was doing a, a presentation about a book that he wrote. And it was really about New York City. And he was talking about mm-hmm. how New York City, literally, if you go and you talk to any New Yorker, like somebody from yeah. the, the boroughs, right? They have this self-inflicted inf- pride about mm-hmm. New York mm-hmm. that they will never leave. Yeah, they, yeah. That they have literally created these the imaginary, world. this imaginary walls that... I'm a New Yorker and I'm never leaving New York. And it's almost like you create like a self prison. Self boundary. And, yeah. and, and, and reality, and, and they say that that was, that's, that's actually instilled. Like, hey, listen, the, the, you, you, we call I'll it. stick it out with us. Yeah, exactly. You know, we call it pride. Like we're, 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 yeah. we're proud. So it's but a trick to keep it, them there. There it is, right? It's Buy almost, in. and they're entrapped by their own prison that they've created in their mind. And mm-hmm. you wonder, wow, that's, that's really out there. And you wonder how much of that do we create? But look, it's kind of just, yeah, just kind of keep on the same track here. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, just, I know Go Gary. It, yeah. Like you are on the real estate cutting edge, man. You're in the middle of it. You know what's going on out there. And I, I think that yeah, people, you know, listen. I don't believe, and I and I think that everyone should get the help that they need. Like if you if you need help, you should mm-hmm. get the help that you need. But at some point, at what cost, right? So. You know, as Americans who pay taxes, we that tax money helps other people, like people that are on welfare, people mm. that are on social services, section eight, section eight, whatever that may be. That that comes from the tax fund, right? Mm. So now, when you talk about landlords, and when the federal government gets involved and says, "Hey, listen, we we we're, you're cool, we're going to take care of the rent," and then all of a sudden, the the, the Supreme Court says, "No, you can't do that anymore." What well, happens? A deadline. But, and then they want to extend it to but because you can't do it. You can't. Even, but, but the first the, thought wasn't. But what's wasn't the legal. purpose though? Like, is that an idea? Like, so if I can't pay my mortgage, Gary, they're going to repossess my home. Oh, right. Is that a way to? Is that a way to do that? Is I mean, legally, when you think about it, if I don't pay my mortgage, if I can't f- afford, get it. like nobody cares, nobody gives a shit. Like in, in episode fifty six, I I really like emphasized mm. that nobody gives a shit. Like the about bank, no. the bank doesn't give a shit. They don't care that you don't have mm-hmm. the money. They're going to say, hey, listen, if you don't pay, you're in foreclosure and we're going to take your home. Is this a way to do that? Are they going to be collecting our homes? Is that what we're talking about here? And, you know, I know Mark Levine is is very, like, he's on the right and he's just... Yeah. But but I think it's important that we hear this because I don't think everybody's hearing this. Okay. Unless you're in or you are a landlord, it doesn't. this doesn't impact you. Like, you're not... But if you rent to people... You don't know it yet. It is going right, to impact it, you. Right, it right. will impact everybody. Right, right. And so you wonder, like, what direction this is going. I mean, just check this out because this is just fantastic. You know what? This is worth every second. Here's Levin. It's time to impeach this loser in the White House. Check this out. <laughs> He's justified a federal statute, a Supreme Court decision. 
He knows that the CDC doesn't have the power to extend these uh, these moratoriums on rent. He says, we're going to do it anyway, because he listens to this Harvard emeritus professor, Lawrence Tribe. He's just violated the federal constitution. Now, let me say this. I brought this up on my radio show last week. Uh, Republicans, have you ever heard of the word impeachment? Are you guys going to go down to the border and whine yourselves to death? I know you're not in the majority, but you need to start explaining to the American people. This man just violated a Supreme Court decision. This man is the border wide open in violation of our immigration laws. I mean, you impeach Donald Trump when he's out of office because of a letter. You set up a phony incitement insurrection. This man is doing enormous damage to this country. People with the virus. He knows they have the virus. His government knows they have the virus. They're pushing them into the interior of the country. Now, what kind this, of a president this, does that to his true. own people? Look, if it's I, not I believe you, you tell me there's like, a, like something out there that they want to change this. I don't think it's just the country. These politicians are just useful idiots. I know who's behind idiots. them, but they're, they're, the point they're behind is the that's what impeachment yeah. is for. And, not and, for and, the and Democrats. I'm not saying I'm bad about the guy. Well, yeah, I am with you about a gun. He shouldn't be there right now. get rid of this guy. He is a disaster. But see, the Republicans don't want to do anything. They want to let it happen. Oh, yeah. You know what? Like I said, like the defund thing. Let it all happen. And then they'll never come back again. Give them what they want. Give them what they wish for. Because they always say, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Yep. And you got it. Not, gonna, you you got, got it. So disparaged people the like, I, I can't yep. deal with You're going to be wearing masks because they're the hoping NDA for the middle. The midterm is saying, okay, so. then get sweep, Isn't sweep it the time floor. To with, with, oh, that's exactly it, bro. That's the whole thing. And that's it. Like we're talking about Gavin Newsom. That's exactly what this is about. The whole goddamn thing that's scary is that, you know, with the mailing. You tough guy Republicans on radio. How about it? The I word, impeachment. Let's start to talk about it. That'll take too long. Or the 25th Amendment. Come on, think about it. Happen, yeah. But let's start It'll, to talk yeah. about it. It's so sluggish. Why do you depend? Why should you depend country, on government? As far as in your I'm own concerned, life? than any single one of our enemies. That's it. There you go. I think there's. A, it. I mean, I don't want to be a conspiracy it. theorist, but there's something going on down the road where the whole is the whole. They all want to change the whole world. It's, like not, a, it's, not, it's not a coincidence that this it's is happening all over the world. the world. Like Australia's in shutdown. Yeah, it, shut down. and yeah. there's protests, but the media's not putting up. There's massive right. protests in there. Right. Uh, uh, right. Spain. Uh, 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 France. Yep. Oh, you should see the some of the signs. They're they're hilarious. You know, they put put out there, and there's like streets flooded, yep. flooded with, with protesters. And the media, mainstream media here, well, mainstream media here, isn't really showing that. Mm -hmm. And then you know you've got the, these people who just want to watch the six o'clock news. They follow suit, and they, they these guys are pros at projecting yeah. fear. Well, when you have a guy like like Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo. And obviously, there's... He's a man with so much power so long you, you think he's going to be perfect? Right, right. So, so that arrogant... Like That's that what arrogant. happens. So, you have, obviously, unless you live under a rock, there's 11 allegations mm -hmm. of harassment on him, and they're they're literally dragging him through the mud. And to be quite honest with you, even the Democrats have realized that... Yeah, we think, can't hold him back. Yeah, once Biden is like, yeah, I believe he should go. So so my point in saying this is, is that, guys, if you didn't know, Cuomo uh, made decisions you know that that you know, not, and I'm not I'm not speculating. This is this is fact, and there mm -hmm. are numbers that there were thousands of elderly people that died. Yeah. So, who do you think he wants to go on? Right, he wants so, to go away uh, for the, for the allegations, or does he want to go for for the murders? There you go. Get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. And the thing is, is the Democrats for them, it's killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get rid so of him, and they'll you, forget you, about you about got the, the guy respond. You got the guy responsible, right? The guy that they're blaming for all those deaths, mm -hmm. and then now you got a harassment charge that you could be like, oh yeah, he's a creep. We don't we don't we don't follow yeah. him but don't you know worry about the, funny... the, don't worry about but about the old people in the, in the uh in the elderly home don't worry about that don't worry about that no no no, no. Look, but, look, 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 but you what know what the best part is is like I, I, about that. I only again i only want to share these things because i don't want people to be fooled and if there's anything about the bobby kudu people show up. it's a, listen up. don't step in that shit i just told you it's, it's <laughs> there take a step to the left and and and, and check it out so but, don't be a politician but, dude i want you to uh, this you have to see this this is going to blow your freaking mind check this out my celebrity crush right now, you, uh -huh. <laughs> Governor Cuomo. <laughs> uh, Do you think false. that you are an uh, attractive person now because you're single and ready to mingle? Do you really think you are some desirable single person? You are uh, well-liked among the ladies. Uh, people knowing that you're single uh -huh. and no, they think you're good looking. Everybody, everybody forgets yeah, this. Yeah, this yeah. wasn't that long ago, guys. Help. I think I'm in love with Andrew Cuomo. I called your brother Chris. Uh, he also said that, uh, you know, now that you're the love gov, uh, love you've kind of transcended politics and now you're just part of... Well, they're self-proclaimed you know, Cuomo-sexuals. Sex I heard, though, that you had a crush on our boyfriend, Andrew Cuomo. Oh, I can't stand Dude, her. Dude, everyone <laughs> does, right? I think he's fantastic. Who would have thought 50 it's Cent okay. would have... 
These feelings are out, perfectly natural. Many Americans experience moments of being at least Andrew curious, if not fully homosexual. Trevor, there isn't a bus big enough, a brother. Homosexual, and I, I, I agree with you. I feel like I'm a homosexual too. Some people are calling themselves homosexuals, and there's a group of women who came out and they said, "We, we're falling in love with Cuomo." Been ready for my boyfriend to come on TV. Ooh, we wake up together every single morning. Me and Andrew Cuomo. Ooh, there he is. Could Andrew Cuomo be any hotter? Uh, that's what I'm doing in quarantine. This was like last year. And Andrew Cuomo this was during COVID, yeah. This was all through do. the Because Because the they you know what this is about? Well, yeah. They everyone, thought he was going to be the next prez. Homosexual so they that pushed way. him out of... <laughs> you see how these things go? You see so the influence, though. You they see the influence. Right. They, they all yeah. got that message. Yeah. Yeah, Breitbart had had uh, hat tip to Breitbart. So that but, was so the, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's that's how that's how it goes. goes. So so all those people are, yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Where are they now? Because because Cuomo is a creep. You're a creep. That they, we, we you're a certified creep. The AG did an, uh, an independent investigation, and they determined that dude putting your hand up a woman's shirt and touching her breast is inappropriate. I don't care. I, I am Italian. I and Italians are very affectionate. We put our hands on your face. No, dude, we're not buying it. It's over. Like just forget about it. Yeah, and there's, he knows he's and done. there's no saving. But if you. I was him, I'd be like, you know what? I'd rather go in for that than then. And once that goes on the rug, they'll forget all about the other murders, all and now, whatever's I'm, going on. And now I'm going to share. Well, I'm going to say murders. You. I can't say that's allegedly. But allegedly, but all I'm, the things that happen, you know. I'm going to share something with you that I'm going to hope and I because guess. I bet she's coming to ask for somebody else. Yes. If he gets, if he gets. Uh, accused of that, or yeah. you know, indicted on that, yeah. and everything things come out. You don't think other people are gonna fall, fall, fall suit to that? Yeah. So they'll say, let's get them on that, be, be, make a scapegoat, and then everything else will go away. Do you want to laugh about something? Let's laugh about something. So did you know? And I really don't care about him. He's gonna face whatever. I mean, I have Cuomo, no dog in fight. Everything. Cuomo don't care passed about. a harassment bill. He himself, his administration passed a harassment rule, bill. The rule is for thee, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Come on. You got to see it. You got to see it. Check this out. Like this is this is when he passed the bill. Like it was a celebration. And oh, check this out, guys. Check this out. People who say they are victims should be believed. To second guess how a woman should have acted after a sexual attack is sexist and disgusting. You abuse a woman the woman is a victim and you are a perpetrator, period. If people are so appalled by this president's law. nonchalance and the wild well, number of those women are, say those they are were attacked the or assaulted right. or in this case, raped, why is this not front page well, news a punch everywhere? Right Thousands fucking squash. of women <laughs> took the courage and put themselves out there. And all they got was a deaf ear from President Trump in Washington. Ford was ravaged they because got a she got dick in the from way Andrew what Cuomo. matters most to them, <laughs> political ambition. Kavanaugh in one hand, or careful consideration of Ford's allegation in the other one. It was never a contest. Stop victimizing women, stop excluding <laughs> women, stop minimizing women, <laughs> stop objectifying women, stop and stop discriminating against women. People who say they are victims should be believed. No woman invites sexual abuse well, ever. This is like this all the time. Period. I'm not surprised with any of this. After the Me Too movement, they did absolutely nothing when it came to sexual harassment. Uh, they have always diminished the charges of women. Always. Consistently. And they're doing it again. Now, now here's the thing. They just still the right part. Now we should be as a society saying, "Hey, look, he accused of it. He's still innocent, to proven guilty." Now we're public PR. Now we're just as just as bad as everybody else because now we're thinking he's did it and now he's going down. And now we haven't said, "Wait, well, let the cost decide." So we have gone to the point everybody is gone. Well, because it's human nature. Yes, hang him. Yes, wait, he hasn't yes. had a day in yes. trial. Just nope. like his brother, what's his name? Andrew, not the other one. The other Chris, Chris Como. Chris. Now you might like him or not. Now people are giving him help. Why didn't you accost your brother? Well, hey. That's his brother. Like, hey, I'm stepping out. I, you know, and, and actually, as a journalist, yes. whatever they call him as a journalist, <laughs> but I would, I would take, you know, presence of saying, hey, what? Well, I appreciate that. You know, you, you have a dog in the fight, so I don't give, I don't give him guff for that. But here we go again. We're, we're, so we're gather, whether we've been Trump or somebody, we just go right for the gullet and say, hang him high. Where's the cops? You know, what was the, the, the society that our forefathers have built and created? So we wouldn't be savages. Due process. Due process. Due process. Due process. And yet, here we are. But you know what, though? You know what I find? I find that 
Every time, PR, it's karma's uh, karma. Every time the Democrats are pointing at something, mm -hmm. it's because they're doing it themselves. Of course. Every time. What is it? When you point one, every time. Three, point Absolutely back right. Yeah. And I and I just I want to throw that out there to the audience, guys. Pay attention when 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 the Democrats and I hate to I hate to single out, a show, but it, it's it is it's, party? it's yeah. it really is. I, I, I think they're I, all. You can't there, deny it, like, all, guys. I'm an independent, and if it was the Republicans same doing it, I would I would blame the I would blame the Republicans, but it's not the Democrats. Every time they're guilty of something, they're pointing. They're pointing mm -hmm. at someone else saying that they're doing it. And they do it every single time. You talk about Russian collusion, right? That was Biden literally ran on Russian collusion. He yeah. ran his whole, whole campaign on Russian collusion. And at the end of the day, there was no Russian collusion. But the idea now is you look at Hunter and... Three point five million Ukraine. dollars from the mayor, yeah. and there's all the money over here, and there's all the money over there, and he's getting oil money. Like so, again, go look over there. Meanwhile, you're the one guilty of doing Don't it. Like stand, look at the game behind the curtain, right? Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And it's you know, again, like I didn't want to get political with the show, but I just that is so relevant right now in the news media and the news stream. See, that, but we're looking at them, right? These mm -hmm. politicians. That's what the media's like. Oh, I watch. What are they? What do these guys do that affects you, your life and my life, directly? Except for you know, certain lockdowns. Yes. And all, this year was a crazy year. Yes. But this is we we we, we like to be shown. You know all what politics Joe, is local. Yeah. But you know what Joe? That's exactly what Joe says. Joe says you don't underestimate the power of the mayors and the governors mm -hmm. in your state. They have all the power, and it's so true. Like we're so fis fixated on the president. As far as they're in there, yeah, they're yeah, fixated yeah. on getting a better position. So the media just makes you, uh, you know, uh, well. It makes us look at them, but they're already thinking uh, above the pot. And yeah, then, you know, the, yeah. the, the, three, the, the network is telling them, hey, ahead. look, you yeah, want to, you want, yeah. The, the network say, hey, look, yes. don't worry about yes. the state. Yes. We'll work yes. our way around. You sure you won't get that position? CNN said it. Look, CNN, look at Rhode Island. CNN look, said, what's her name? She took off. Oh, of course. She of course. less about yeah, 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 Healy. Healy. You're gone, gone, gone. Same thing with Marty Walsh, gone. Yeah. But they say, CNN actually admitted it. Like, our objective was to get Trump out of office, and we succeeded. That was their number one purpose, and they did it. And you know what? And I had a clip. I wish I. I, I forget to, to to send it over. I should I should have had it. But they actually I, I watched it. It was about the ratings, and they talk about MSNBC, CNN, mm. and everybody's gone. Like ever since, because like, nobody. No, no, it, yes, yeah. uh, the Trump was the Trump was the the reason why people were watching. And once Trump was gone, they lost they their said, CNN. They, the bucket. they are literally yeah. they are the literally dumps. circling the drain. They are, yeah, they, 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 it's it's so terrible, and so. You think to yourself, is it the conservative party that is still in is is still embedded? Because we're not watching the Black Lives Matter movement burn down the target down the street anymore. Like that has already passed. Like we're we're on to the next thing. Like we're still now we're talking about the Delta variant mm -hmm. plus, and then it's going to be the Delta variant plus plus plus, right. and then the Delta right, variant, yeah, right, and then the, <laughs> and then it's the Delta Alpha Alpha yeah. Phi, you lambda, know what I mean? lambda Lambda Lie, Lambda Lie, yeah, right? Yeah, like right. It's, it, and and it seems like that's the they're going to keep the doing Omega. it. They're going to keep doing yeah. it. They're going to keep scaring you. I say, Gary, I ask you this question, brother. Why are they doing this? Uh, no, no, no. When do we say no more? Oh, it'll when, happen. When does that, when though? When does because I think when dude, it starts affecting your personal life to yeah, a degree where yes. there's no more support. So your employer, it, your employer says to you, Gary, if you don't get vaccinated, don't show up to work tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. But so that's why people should not be in a heavy amount of Let debt. Let me ask you a question. And so I can, so I don't, I'm not indebted to that servant and say I can, yes. I, and have a skill set and say yeah. I, Goodbye. Yeah. So but let me ask you a question. Who is going to be impacted more by that decision? You or your employer? It'll be me. If you get. Uh, uh, See, I think the opposite. I think the employer. Because in this market, you. How many people are going to follow suit with you? There's nobody. How many people are yeah, with there's you nobody, saying, oh, I need, dude, to, I need this job? Who's your guy? Who's going to replace you? Who's doing what you're, Who's doing your job? Right. Well, I mean. No, no, I'm serious. Definitely hear you. Who's doing your job? Uh -huh. So if your employer says, Gary. Don't show up to work tomorrow because you're not vaccinated. If he says to me, they already knows that they already they know, Gary already know that two? they have replacement. Yeah, but where's Gary number two? Is there a Gary number two? Yeah, there is a, that that'll replace. How about sure, number three? How about number three? Yeah, there'd be three and four. Four. They're yeah, all you out know what, there. Number four. If you have forty percent of your workforce, yes. you say no, we're not taking it. Yes, we're all quitting. Yes, then most there the, it is. Uh, as a as yes. as a ratio, most employers saying yes. we're not touching this because yes. it's yes. going to cost too yes. much for us to make them do. So it. so are we getting to a point now? And that's when that things that happen. I think my I think money makes people do so funny. I love my mom. I love my mom to death. My mom, she bleeds blue. She's a Democrat. She came here. Somebody told her mm. when she got her citizenship. Somebody told her that she was a Democrat, and, and but she's that was different it. back then. The Democrats were different. Yeah, but, but, they, but, they, but they, even they, now, like, and, and and for her to tell me she, her words, 
Bobby, th- this is this is not good. This is, she, yeah. she said, it's, so to hear that from her, yeah. where she would never admit that and mm-hmm. know that. You, how many people are out there experience. right now that are saying, "Hey, listen, this is not good." We all say it. Right? We're trying to. Right? We're the ones right? trying to adjust ourselves and become the uh, the face of, of of a good society. We're, yep. we're trying to do everything, but well, they're, they're, when push comes to shove, yep. things will happen. I think it's a very fine line between conservative and progressive. But I think if you're conservative, progressive, there's where, no fine line. There's a big, uh, there's a big gap right now. So, so no, I'm saying, but in, in our, like for me, I'm a conservative. Going, yeah. hey, listen, I'm conservative, but I. You think, have your reasons, but I you? think we need to be progressive in moving forward. Like with, I think with what though with, with certain things, progressing with, as with in, our livelihood, our, with our American history. No, no, I think fundamentals, brother. Yeah. I think everybody, every child should know and understand what World War One and World War Two were, the Korean War, the Battle of the. Bulge, uh, the Alamo. I think our kids, bro, we know what that is. When yeah. I say those things, they resonate with you because you learned that in school. They don't teach that anymore. No, I think because of the there's, there is a gap. There's certain kids go yes. in, in high society yes. or yes. where yes. where in um, more affluent yep. areas of the of the country or even the neighborhoods. Yes, affluent schools they're yep. taught that in yep. more detail. Yep. Where the lower they just brush things off and pass it. There's another gap there. Yes, they're not educating people who aren't. Affluent. There's that. That is a definite. Yes, absolutely. guaranteed absolutely. correlation. Absolutely, I can guarantee so, you. That. But, but so there's a difference. It's yes. always thinking about uh, red and blue, black yeah, and white. Yeah, but yeah, there, yeah, there is actually yeah, yeah. more yes. of a divide yes. that people aren't seeing, which is a wealth gap divide. And ultimately, that is going to be Gary, the ultimate divide. Ultimately, we are a community and a society. Mm-hmm. No matter what, no matter how you think of it, like you may yeah. think that I don't need you, mm. but in some way, shape, or to, form, to, for society, we do. Yeah, we all need each other. Right. That's so how we became. I think what we are now is the tribal tribalism. Absolutely, and I think we, as a collective, we need to think that way and say to ourselves, "Wait a minute, I does the government exist as if so?" We, Gary, you don't think about breathing. Right, you breathe. You mm. in and out every day. We all breathe. Yeah. We breathe how many breaths a day? Right. We never think about it. Is that what the government is right now? Is it, is the government an entity that we believe is, is so empowering that we are subject to it? We've been believed that. We yes. just to believe that. Okay. We forgot the point. That's of not it. true, right, Gary? Not that true. doesn't exist. That's not so true. how do you You can see it's more fragile than you think. Really. So how do you I mean, make it's... people how do you make people understand that this is our society? This is like the government only exists to serve the people, mm. not the other way around. Like you listen to Nancy Pelosi, and she talks to you like she's doing us a favor. You are not. She is not. The government isn't helping us. They're mm-hmm. fighting. The government everything. never helps. The government, government, government yes. gets involved. It fucks things up, bro. Government fucks everything up. You know what I think? I think when you live in a nation of three hundred and thirty-one million. Oh yeah, people, there's nothing gonna be perfect. Like you, never. Not gonna be but. You have a society, you have a population that is capable of of creating what? Anything. Mm-hmm. Dude, we anything. We have, we have. But the problem is, is we're so separated and so divided. Well, here's the thing. Dude, even down to the fucking unions. Like the teachers unions. Yeah. The, the, you know what? Sorry, and 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 But this is, this like, is. It's, it's a common, it, yeah. Look, the numbers involved, it's a whole, uh, um. The law of large numbers will help in, in this situation. But I mean, look, this, you just said it. There's 300 million people. You don't, and 300 different minds and and and, and visions and people coming from different sp- spots of life. Isn't that this what is makes going us great? To, yes, but also this diversity. Well, I hate to use that word because it's so um uh, distorted now. Yeah. Uh, but there's so many words that are distorted now. You, you're afraid to say. No, it. But, but yes, but I, this is why we're it is. Where, where everybody, meaning so many but, but different but things, walks of life. Gonna, it, here, it's complicated. Pot. We're it's going to be pot. yes, and it's going to be complicated. Yes, yes. Now that we see it now more yes. often and more, but now we we tend but to forget. Right. You tend to forget this. We're still animals that came from savage. We haven't grown out of that. That no, core is still in our right. brain. So right. you, sometimes we've but, seen in South Africa where the riots came, and so. You don't think we're not far from that yet? Right, so in sometimes, what? like you said, in South Egypt Africa, fell, Rome fell, all these societies. You think what, what? 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 What's better? The faster we are, the faster we can actually fall because the technology is going to get better. Yes. So we're just on this ball of dirt. We ain't nothing special. No, than no, we're before. not. We're not. But so, you know, I mean, we uh, learn, right? We yeah, learn. We like, learn. You know, even By the time we learned, we're dead. If we're out on that African plane, right, and we're, we're trying to survive from the mm. saber-toothed tiger, what do we learn? We learn tools. We learn weapons. Right. And you right? watch my back. I watch your you back. You evolve, right? We know that together we right. have a better chance of survival. And, and I think there is a narrative that doesn't exist. But we, they were still times fighting it's not each other. Real. It's not real. Dude, none of this is real. None of it's real. Was it's my, all was the red pl- bull pill? What are you talking That's about? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I'm saying like all of it's created. Like the narratives are all created. 
And the like, media creates it, yes. It's, media, it's you know all what the created. best example is? The WWE. Wrestling. Like, that whole storyline, yeah. like, that's all created. It's entertainment, though. Dude, I Gary, mean, you and I grew up thinking wrestling was real. Like, I, I, how many years? Uh, well, you could say it, but dude, was four. dude, there comes a point where you're like, hey, Jason, th- is this not real? Right? I mean, there was a long time where that was controversy. So, like, so you're saying, seriously, seeing, seeing the, 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 the WWE, the, the look, government's not the real. The WWF never admitted it. it was WWF, by the way. They never admitted that it was fake. Remember that that was taboo? Right. Like, they never talked about it. But then eventually, obviously, yeah. because of society. Because the culture, they grew, they grew, the people right, who were fans, right. they were both that age when, when they knew this. When Mick Foley was taking a baseball bat to the fucking skull and they were busting his skull open, they had to admit that it was all scripted yeah. that they weren't literally doing this right but for a long time we believed that that was real that these guys were going in the ring and beating the shit out of each other you know what I mean? the 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 sergeant right. well, the, like the of the world dude the, you know what i mean the, yeah. the pedro myralis right. the, the the bob backlands like those guys were in there fighting right mm. so you believe that narrative this is the same thing bro they create the narrative so Listen. what's the narrative like what what it's blue against control, red dude. control Huh? I believe. No, no, see, see, it's to distract you, so they'll be yes. controlled, so things get easy. It's whatever they I want. also think this, this is some kind of like crazy thought. Like they know, yep. they know that the way things have happened and, and, and throughout the world, how certain societies, that it's not going to last long, that right. they need to change things. I, I, I mean, this is just a, a crazy thought, and I could be here for hours, that things need to change. They, they need to start changing things now because it's not going to last. What do you... That, that they need to say, that they, we're going to try the new world order can situation. Can I ask you a question? How much influence do you believe China has on what happens in the United States? I just, quite a bunch. I, I only I think quite a bunch. I think I, monetarily, where yeah. it's corporations and... and, and what if I told you... Lot, a lot what if to I told it, you that Newtown, Connecticut, right? That whole situation. Mm-hmm. Did you know... Jeez, rabbit hole. I hate going to rabbit hole. But I, just, I have to share this because it's, it's, it's killing me. Uh, David Chapman, if you don't know, he is the new... Well, he is the candidate for the ATF to be the oh, ATF. Yeah, yes, yes. So... Guys, do me a favor. You go on YouTube and put in David Chapman China propaganda video. And the disturbing part of seeing this is that on the same day that that happened in Newtown, Connecticut, the same day in China, a psychomaniac went into a school with a knife and sliced up a bunch of yep, kids. Yeah, I remember that. So... When you watch the video, when you watch that video, you guys, the first video that comes up, just click on it. It talks about how the Chinese government didn't talk about the event that took place in China. Right. What they did is they America. Had, but but the, 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 you know what the disturbing part was is that David Chapman was the he was in the interview. Mm. Like he volunteered to be in that propaganda video talking about gun control in the United States when in China this maniac goes into a school and is slashing up kids. Mm. And and you say to yourself, they literally shifted the news mm. to the American problem and away from the China problem. Right. And you know, again, I, I, I don't want to jump in the rabbit hole, but when I look at that, I say to myself, Too bad you already started was, it, man. is that China's influence? Did China say, hey, listen, this is what we're going to do and this is what we're going to do? China's learning and how game. did And how did they get David Chapman to show up and show up on the. A lot of money. Dude, the TV station. They was, just, you know, David Chapman, he's a camera hound. So they say, hey, look, David Chapman, the ATF, let's talk to him. Oh, great. It's a Chinese news company. What does he know the difference? Yeah. Okay, I'll be glad to go on. Yeah, yeah sure. I get, so it's not like he probably has no Terrible, clue why they thought dude. about it. Terrible. But look, this it, what's China? Uh, China is doing like many other nations. Who, China's learning our game. China is is, is still is a know. they're, they're they, they know they our game know. and they're playing it. So look, and people think, oh, China's different. Look, China is not to be underestimated. They're an empire. They've been an empire longer before we have. They've fallen and gotten up again. Yep. We have a five year game plan. They have a five hundred year game plan. Yeah, they do. Okay, yeah, they and then they're winning. Yeah, they, they, they said we're yeah, not. We're going to be communist. This is yeah. the, the communist party now. Yep. Things might turn around up there, but they have. Uh, they know they'll say we're going to use America's game against them, and we're, we're going to be. We're going to go. What are they, everything's made over there. That's what I'm saying. They need us. You know, my wife's like, well, why don't they just take us out? I'm like, because they need us. Because where's their us, their, yeah. their economy? Yeah. Like the shit that they create. We, we, but we're, eventually they we're won't. the ones that consume it, right? At eventually some they point, won't because because they, you know, they will yeah, change yeah, the dollar. Yeah, the right, the dollar right. so bad. You know what um, it is? Uh, I think I think the, the the industrial age is over. I think that's, for us, yes, we did. Yes, we kill the industrial for. age is over. So therefore, there's no need. You know what I mean? And I think that's. And again, the only I, way I we can make that happen, that way, but man. Ma- to, the only way that, the only way we can get industrial wave back here, yeah, is we have to hurt a lot. We have our our um, yeah, food lines, bro. No, People no, 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 no. Our our quality of life, our uh, standard yep. of living, yep. has to be diminished so greatly yep. that those jobs can come back and become affordable for us to live in. Right. And 
what we have now will not be nowhere close yeah, to our future. You know the problem it's is, going to happen. The, yeah, but the problem is, is you're not going to be able to get that job because we have so many illegal immigrants no, in this no, country. Even that, even yeah, that, even that, like look, you, you, that, that job, gets so bad. Yeah. The illegal immigrants will say, "We'll go back to Mexico because it's that bad here." Mm. So th- th- they want to work anywhere, and they can go over there. At th- that at that point, it doesn't matter. Look, yeah, everybody's saying, "Oh, illegal immigrants." Well, look. Th- we all, they only went to China because they can skirt by a lot of rules there, and they didn't want to pay the, the 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 wages that the Mexicans would want. Right. Think about that. Right. Think about oh well, Mexican illegal. Oh, they're so bad. There was so many times we could have had an opportunity to build factories in, in Mexico, even though it's very very corrupt. But they still decided to go halfway around the world because they knew the communists would allow them to, to do what they wanted yeah. to a certain degree. Yeah. I'll let you do what you want in my land until it's time for me to take over. And now I have control. So many guys, entrepreneurs have tried to go there and start businesses. And they, they did well. And all of a sudden, you get two guys in the CCCP come in there with, with uh, you know, uh, uniforms saying, thank you, we'll take over now. Yeah, done. done. Thank you for thank done. you for the time. We'll take over now. Can I say something? No, you can do. Can I say something? Fuck China. Fuck yeah. China. Fuck China. Then don't buy nothing I, from nothing China. Nothing against the Chinese people. I like the oh, Chinese people. Oh, everybody knows that. I like it's, Chinese it's people. It's the Chinese it's yeah, the yeah, people yeah, in power. Yeah, 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 Just yeah, like yeah. the Iranians. Nobody against the Iranians, but it's the China? Iranians in power. China is an asshole. China is an now, asshole. But now, here's the thing. Did the rest of the world think of us as assholes too back then? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everybody said that. Yeah. So so, uh, so, yeah, yeah, why yeah, isn't it their turn now? Think about it. Uh, think. Yeah, of, I mean, think yeah, of them. And like, yeah. you remove your, you move your feelings from it. Like, yeah. Now it's their turn. You got to give them kudos. It's like, hey, you know what? Yeah. They're making it work. They're 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 making it work. Now they're messing things up. There's no perfect. No, there's no per- perfect uh, maneuvers. I mean, no, we're all humans. They're not. But you got to give them clout. It's like, well, it's actually working. That they're making a massive highway. It's one of the world's largest. <laughs> yes, do you see that? They are. It's what do they amazing. call that? What do you call that? I forgot the name of it. Oh, mm. Why do I always forget things? When I'm on this podcast. Mm. It's it's something highway. It's something, it, it, and it's the road. It goes all the way up through Africa, Middle East. Yeah. You know what that's going to do, right? That's oh, going to cut them. It's yes. going to cut. Right into Antarctica and everything, right? They're gonna go through that whole. Through the, that, yeah, Africa, yeah, Africa and up to the Middle East, and then through, the small yeah. portion going to Europe. Yeah, international now, waterway. It's like the travel lane for the not cargo. even waters. Now yeah. they go right through. They're gonna right, right through, through Egypt and all that. Right and yeah, yeah, but they even said Russia too. Russia's d- they're actually doing. Oh the yeah, whole, oh yeah. yeah Russia's yeah, involved. Yeah, they're they're involved. Like, yeah, involved. Yeah. let it happen because because yeah. now this is going to re- remove the maritime uh, strength that we have. Yeah, because here's the thing: people think, oh, America. Here's one. I mean, I don't know if we have time. America, we had, you know, World War II happened, right? So yep. like, we, we were in all, all these countries in the world. Why didn't we take over? You know, like it spoils the war, right? Right. So right, right, right. We right, look right, like right. heroes, right? right? Well, here's the thing. Well, we blow it up and we fix it. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Well, kind of in an essence, right? <laughs> right, right. So we all look like heroes. Oh, America did this. Well, we did it in a way, but we also did it that people don't think about. Mm-hmm. Is we made them say, well, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll change, we'll help you build, but we're going to change everything, like to make everything spent on the, on, Oil. Yeah, yeah, right. But it's gonna be everything's all oil's gonna be bought on the dollar. It's gonna, we're gonna be the world reserve currency, and everything. And they knew everything's gonna be shipped everywhere, and we had the master waters. We had the yeah, shipping yeah, lanes, right, so we control right. the, the, mar- the the marine, the world yeah. of marines. Yeah, you're right. The maritime travel, maritime travel. Right. Maritime travel. So we were yeah, guarding yeah, right. that. So yeah. we had ships, and we guarded all maritime travel. Never so we had control. So we, in essence, we took care of that. So we were saying not, nobody can do conduct business yep. or travel without we, paying us we some were, dollars. We were the, so we, we were actually controlled everything. We were in the essence. modern day Spain. Like back in the day, right. if you were in Spain, no. shit wasn't going across. Yeah, but so like, everything we, had to be yes, spot yeah, and in the dollar. Yes, oil had to be shipped. Everything's gonna be shipped. So we'll we'll guard all the ships. We have maritime control, and then yet we'll go. So China's diverting that, and they say we'll send everything. Of the world, yep. and why do we need uh, the Western world? Why do you all still yeah, want a dollar? Right, Look, it's so yeah, deflated, yeah, 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 it's yeah. so so wrecked, and it's like, it seems like they're doing it themselves. Yes, we're, yeah. we're we're involved, you, we're doing it to help become, them out because they're become, You become self sustained. You're gonna you become self sustainable. You don't need the rest of the world. You become your own. Well, well, become well, well, well. No, the world's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, Europe, Africa, uh, the Middle East. All these other countries are gonna they're gonna go. Buy Chinese goods and go up down the highway. That's we don't it. need. We, they Done. just cut out the marine, yep. the marine world, yep. and the Western world's be stuck. Was yep. be us, like North America, and South America, Germany gets their and oil. Dollar. And Germany's getting their oil from Russia now because yeah. of the pipeline that Biden approved. So yeah. there you have it. So again, you know, it's, it's a big, back, it's a big game. To, it's it's yes. a massive chess game, yes. and it's yes. so fun yes. to go in on. And, and it can't be. Um, I love how you bring that right back to where we started, and that really is what we said. We thought this is we're at checkmate. This yeah. is it's a chess game, and I, it's going to see who's going to. I don't know who's going to make the move to win it. I don't know, but and sometimes you know what you, you got to know. Like, hey, we're losing. It's it's time. It's time. Yeah, it's time to retreat. Yeah, yeah. No now way. you got to figure out what you no do way. for yourself personally. Want to have fun for a second? I guess. I'm, I'm done sure. talking about fucking China. Fuck China. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a question. You ready? I'm gonna ask you a question. You got to answer it. No, you're right. No matter what, you have to answer it. You ready? Oh shit. <laughs> All right. What are three things you could buy at the grocery store to make the cashier give
Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cans, cucumber, and uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Massingill? <laughs> no, something else. Uh, <laughs> condoms, a cucumber, and kale pectate. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I have a bunch of these questions I want to share with the audience. If you could replace all the grass in the world with something else, what would it be and why? Oh. <laughs> The wife, said mar- the wife said marijuana. She said marijuana. She I wants- can't. I, I just can't think weed. of... I just skip ah, it. Why not? Yeah. We'll do weed. Everybody Sweet. can have weed. Yeah. All right. If animals could talk, which species would which species would be the rudest of them all? You know what? Cats. I, dude, my wife said the same thing. I couldn't think of that. And you're right. It's brilliant. It would be cats. Cats are assholes. Yeah. No matter how you... And I told her, I said, you know, when I really think about that, I said to myself, even a cat has like one favorite person. Like it's good to that one yeah. person, but it's an asshole to everybody else. Yep. That's so funny. That's... No, I said the same thing. If you could merge two different animals to create one ultimate animal, what two animals would it be? Horse and a gorilla. <laughs> What is that? A horse, the horse's legs and the gorilla's head. Like that, what do you call that? What do you call those people there? A, ma- a, a mana. Yeah, a mana tour, something like that. Yeah. A gorilla. I don't know why, but. A horse and a gorilla. I like that. Oh, all right. Oh, Run faster than you still beat your ass. Would you rather own a horse the size of a cat or a cat the size of a mouse? Oh, wait, a cat the size of a m- would you rather own a horse the size of a cat or a cat the size of a mouse? A horse the size of a cat. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. I think that the, the cat the size of a mouse, I'm uh, killing it. Like, yeah. I'm going to step it's on like it. like a mouse yeah, might as well, yeah. It's going to have an accent. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be cocky on your hand. All right. <laughs> this is a good one. You ready? If you were suddenly <laughs> if you were suddenly arrested for no reason and your face was flashed all over the news, what would your family and friends assume you did wrong? <laughs> I say uh, DUI. I said DUI. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a know. good one. That, I was gonna say real estate fraud. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> it's one thing I stand on. I don't know, fuck people over. <laughs> that's what I thought. Like, what else could it possibly be? You know what probably, I mean? most likely, probably something like that. You know, not to say that I'm doing it. It's allegedly, allegedly. But I like to go out have some drinks, and most likely that would probably be it. Yeah. If you were to appoint a president of the internet, who would it be? Snowden. Oh, Gary, that's a good one. That's a good. I, I said Elon Musk. I said Elon because yeah. he understands the concept. Like we went back to AI and talking. Mm-hmm. Like I think he understands that, so he knows the dangers of the internet. Yeah, huh? that's nope, a pretty Edward good Snowden. one. Uh, let me see. Let me see. If the zombie apocalypse has begun. You have an SUV, a baseball bat. Where are you going first? Get my kid. Pick up my kid at her house. Get her first. That's the first place to go. Go get yeah. your kid. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm probably doing the same thing. I'm collecting my family here, yeah. and then I'm going, Megan, I'm coming for you, baby. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Don't say son yet. He's like, oh, I mentioned talking about son. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, AJ, you're out. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's the worst idiot. tagline you can think of for a brand that sells wart removal cream? Stick it out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> tagline. We'll uh, stick it out. Stick it out. Stick it out so we can get it out. I don't know. That's actually a pretty good line. <laughs> How about Moly Moly? Moly Moly. You could do like the song. Moly Moly. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Come on. And then you could do Austin Powers. Moly. Oh, yeah. Who is it, Moly? <laughs> <laughs> but then again, it's actually a good gimmick. People won't forget the ad. They won't forget the product. That's not really good. <laughs> if you found a time machine that took you back 600 years, all you have are the clothes on your back. How do you tell people that you're from the future? 600 years. 600 years. Dude, you're close, right? Right, yeah. Like, look at me. Look how I'm dressed. Like, I'm I'm, I'm Marty McFly. Well, like, I, mean, I, got Ma- I mean, Marty like, McFly, Marty the McFly guy had, to... had a life jacket. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so they, look, they still look the same, you know? See that? Like, there's some pop culture right there for you, right? How cool is that, dude? No? Yeah, it is actually. 600 years. I don't know if people are wearing 600. <laughs> this is a long right, time. You're going to help me with this, because actually, this is going to segue me into something All I want right. to talk about. 600. What would I say? You're, yeah, so how about this one? Yeah, what would you say? I carry time. Dude, there you go, dude. You'd have a watch. watch. Imagine that. That's pretty cool. What's the worst thing that a person could put on their bio in a dating app? Oh, uh, the worst thing. Yeah, I've only been I've never been convicted. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't know. Good. That's so good, dude. The worst thing I I don't know. The worst thing on a bit, but dating app. Uh, I want to get married. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably. Oh, there's so many creepy things out there on the internet with them guys on dating sites. Oh, jeez. 
about I'd love to get to know you and meet your kids. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> uh, that's right? Uh, yeah, that's creepy. Looking for a daddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's cre- That's creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one can get creepy quick. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. You want to do more, like one more? Sure. All right. You are now banned from the local library. What would be the reason for it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about, dude, you went on Pornhub. That's simple. All right, yeah. Like, okay. if you click porn up on the computer, you're out. That's like, yeah. I think that's the easy one, Yeah, no? easy one. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, one? I mean, I want to make it something fun. Like, well, why would be throwing a lot? It wouldn't shut up, shut the hell up, maybe? Right. Or, but that's too easy. Farting or something? I don't know. <laughs> if you could change what falls from the sky every time it rains, what would it be and why? Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I like a little Tito's, please. Yes. Tito's mm. for me. Alcohol. Mm. Gary, we're like an hour and a half into the show, buddy. Everybody's I, tired. Yeah, I think we need to call it quits. What do you think? Yep. So, first of all, thank you so much for being here, hey, brother. Like, what a fun. great... You know what? I really... This is... What we created tonight is exactly what I wanted. Like, I just wanted to have a show with fun and just talking. And you know what? I think if you and I were over at Barrett's Ale House or we were anywhere else, this would have been the same conversation yeah. we yeah, had. Like, what are we listen to? Right, right. Like, seriously. Like, I, and, and again, I, and I think... You know, once again, shout out to Jesse and Suzette for their um, oh. their wonderful, amazing comments that you know for the show. And uh, this is what it's all about, like Shotgun Rider. Like I would like to think that somebody's driving, right? Like yeah. you're driving, and you could put this on and just you know listen along. And again, I hope that uh, everybody's enjoying the show. Stop your stop and signs. If, and if you got a second, like when you don't wall, traffic law. when you're done with the Bobby Kudo show, the Disgruntled American Podcast, please go over there and follow. Uh, go over to Apple. I, I, I ask. Listen, I don't ask anything of anybody. I mean, I put a lot into the show. I build the show notes. I put a lot in. I never ask anything for anybody. But if you go over to Apple, uh, just a review, follow the show. That's that's the power. Like if Talk I'm, if I'm ever going to get a, a sponsor, bro. Um, I mean, again, you are a sponsor of the show, and I, I've mentioned you in every podcast. And you, you're an amazing experience with real estate. And you, Gary, you're still with Wycott Realtors, right? Yes, and, I am. And so, so if if somebody wanted to get in touch with you and 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 put something together, I mean, like again, right. and, and you know, Tag I think G2711, people, I think people uh, get Yahoo. scared. Com. I think people are scared, Gary. Oh, they're scared right now. Yes, scared I have some clients. I think, just walked out. This is way yeah, too high. Yeah, but but I think people are afraid because I think once they think when they talk to an agent like it's you real up. it's real like it, now it's real but in reality there's no rush there's nothing with just talking no right rush. like you no, don't mind absolutely. giving your time right? i'm not you like a lawyer i'm not gonna charge you a fee for a consultation can now. i call you can can, sure. can the fans call you so sure what so how are they getting in touch with you oh well, uh well easy way is, is the email for us because i can call them you know if they'll get so i can have appropriate time yeah uh so in the Cab email G27 like, like 11 11 they, at yahoo.com yes if, 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 if they sure. tell you like what they're interested in like yeah, hey this is I, what i'm I, looking I, for yeah just do that make it a quick summary nothing special because then i would call you and find out individuals i mean emails people buy house on email and yeah. a lot but but yes yeah, so i would call you give me a contact information is it a buyer's market it's a seller's market. Totally it's a seller's massive market. Sales market yeah. So you're, you're you're listen. If you had to give any again, we're not financial advisors, nope. but anyway, this no. is our own personal. Well, advice. as a real estate, save some money, all right? Make sure you get pre pre approved. Re- and remember, and know what like, you want. I, I think that when you and I spoke, and of course, you know, when you think I like, can give you advice because it's personal. Absolutely, I can't, yeah, yeah, I can't. But the thing is, is I'm not guys, legitimately. Legal I know yet. that it's a seller's market, but remember, if you sell what you own, if yet. you sell what you own, you're going to have to buy something else. So Correct. unless you, you go, unless you live with your grandparents, you go right, right, you go from. You go from being a seller to a buyer. So remember right. that. Like again, if it's if, if you're getting like buku bucks for your house, mm. you're gonna somebody else is expecting buku bucks for their house. Their so house, right. unless, unless you're willing you're to downsize, down, downsize, relocate to a different area. Right, a lot of right, people are doing right. that now. But one more time, guy. What's your email? Uh, C A B G twenty seven eleven at yahoo dot com or White Crit Realty. Look the look the um. Associates, you can find my name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and of course, Cab Ragoon. It's been on the screen the whole podcast. Yeah, I got you right there. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, people yeah. can hit you up and sure, uh, they maybe can do that too. like shoot you a DM or yeah, something sure, like that. Absolutely. Because, yeah, I'm helping you know, And again, and I tell uh, guys, and listen, I'm only licensed in Mass, but I have a crew that actually that can run the game anyway, in Rhode Island. Next anyway, to, and anyway, and we're playing can, with yes. it. Right, I'm playing with it. We're we're talking about real estate. Mm-hmm. We're talking about that. But ultimately, guys, I always tell you that I would never in a million years suggest or refer anybody to you that I wouldn't have my own mom. Like Gary, I would trust you with my mom and her all her assets and everything and 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 that's and i extend that to the audience and if you guys just are, are just curious want to know maybe like a fair market analysis mm-hmm. like those are fair questions right now in this market and maybe you're in a great position 
that so. maybe you bought in the bubble, like right after the bubble, like we did. And, you know, you're, you're, you're oh, you're, after 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah yes. If your ROI is, is you know, like, oh, right. guys, if you're looking at like a 75% ROI, then it'd be foolish to not invest on that. But, but, but either way, I just, I love the idea that you're on the show, Gary. You're so knowledgeable and, um, and, 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 and you're willing to, to talk to people. So they really need to reach out to you if they're in, they're looking at making a move or again, even property assets, right? Like my mom and my situation mm-hmm. and Gary, what should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that and right. you're always I, dude, I'll give an insight and always, you always sound yourself, bro yeah. always sound insight I, I am looking to get my you know security licenses in the future and then I will be able yeah, to professionally you know, do that, you but, know what yeah. I, I want people you know what you are you're, to me you're like the weatherman like you're, you're giving a predi- you give your prediction so Guy, I'm, I'm, I'm Manny's weatherman <laughs> there know, you man. go you're Manny's weatherman you give the prediction and you let me make a decision that's I love to do. That's and that's what I love about you brother dude is there a phone number that they can call yep 508-415-4177 please do not uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That don't blow them up. But yeah. if you're if you're serious and you want to do it, yeah, right. dude, attacks it, it, be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you go ahead and do that and support Gary Cabral. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, man. So great to have you here, man. It's so it's just, I, bro. I'm humbled, man. I love the idea that you, know, you you come out here and spend the time and we could do this together. It means a lot to me, bro. And I think the show, dude, 57, dude. Would you believe 57 episodes, Gary? Yeah. I mean, seriously, bro. It's the high special. I, dude, I, we're friends. We've been friends for a long time. I've had a lot of crazy ideas. Mm. Like, and you've, you've yeah, been... <laughs> dude, you've been the, yeah. And so... And, and, this and, is mundane now. Uh, but I love, cool. dude, I yeah. love this. And Manageable. I love that we can keep doing this. And you know what? It, it, when we're on episode 150, bro, you're going to be there. And I can't wait to, to, for you to be on the show again. I really appreciate these conversations. If, still, if it's still America, maybe. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to fight for it, dude. I'm not willing to give up, bro. I'm not willing to give up. I'm Sometimes not. you got to say, him up. Yeah. Hit the dot. Re- re- okay, yeah. If you, you got to know which fight is worth all, oh, which fight is, you know, even winnable, you know what yeah, I mean? I, I don't know. It's true. I mean, it's true. Some it's people true. are relocating and thinking, I mean, it's yeah. beyond us. It's still America, bro. It's still, still America, America, unless you're leaving the country. And you know what? You can't leave the country because nowhere else in the world is it better than it is here. And that, and even in our worst, we're still the best. And yeah. that's the bottom line. Right. In the words of Jay Z, I'm an ace on my sick days. That's just the bottom <laughs> Like, seriously, that's America, bro. Yeah. We are America. We're America strong. And I believe that there are still enough patriots in this world. Oh, in this country yeah. that that we there are more the majority still loves the, the country that we live in and I, and I, and I and I want to believe that and I and people, I think um people who you know who love this country and all that and you think we're out of there quiet believe me the, the, the most dangerous wolves are absolutely in the woods. don't the worry about the Americans yeah. and that's really the they're creation of the yeah. podcast and, and they're, we they're are keeping themselves absolutely because the they're trying to yep. be good Americans good people yep the Clintons don't, called us yeah. deplorables yeah. bro we'll and, and and we we are named the disgruntled they're Americans so absolutely so everybody if you have a chance please go check out the website the Bobby Kudo Show Dot com. Send me an email if you have any questions, concerns. Oh, and listen. Thank you for listening, everybody. Yeah, if you want to do like a sponsorship, hit me up. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Questions over at the Bobby Kudo Show at gmail.com, Twitter, Instagram, uh, at the Bobby Kudo Show. Please hit it up, check it out. I so, so, so appreciate everybody being here, lending me your ear, and giving up your time to uh, spend with us. I hope that we enlightened you a little bit. We laughed a little bit. We had a little bit of conversation. And I look forward to uh, episode 58 right around the corner. And actually, Jesse Gomes has committed and he'll be on episode 58 as my guest so I'm cool. excited about that man I, I love Jesse Jesse's down in Florida hats off to you my friend I hope you're having a great time and uh, we'll talk soon but Gary thank you so much for being here I really appreciate it happy Friday to everybody and everybody always remember that all roads lead here <laughs>